Hi, this video is on how to find the series and parallel resistance of a circuit. So here you have a parallel circuit right here, and then you have one that would be in series if you combine these two, and then you're going to add this resistor to it. So I did a video on this previously, but I think that maybe there's a bit of confusion because you, maybe you can't hear what I'm saying. Uh, you know, that was my fault, mainly because my microphone on my laptop isn't so great, but I got a new one so you can hear me fine now. So let's, let me show you the two formulas, or the formula that you can use. So here we have 1 over the resistance in parallel, which is equal to, and now these, this right here is the, 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 the resistors that are in parallel that we're going to be adding, that we're going to find their, their resistance. And I think this is where a lot of you guys are getting confused, because you guys, or a couple people, are saying that this resistance here is 0.4. One seven. That's wrong. That's that's not correct, and I'll show you why. But first, let's get the right answer. So, what you're going to do to solve for these two in parallel is you're going to put R2 right here. You're going to replace R2 with four ohms, R3 with six ohms. You could also use this formula. It's exactly the same. These both of these formulas will give you the exact same answer. If you don't believe me, try it. Uh, it's the best thing you could do to help convince yourself that I'm not uh, incorrect. So here you have R2. This you can replace with the four and you can replace R3 with the six. And you know, same thing down here, just replace them and that's all you have to do. So once you do that, you so if you're gonna use this formula, which you can do, you're gonna get one over four and one over six. And this is I think where people are getting very confused because they end up saying, oh, well, the resistance in parallel is, is five over 12. Well, no, it's not. Remember, this is a reciprocal formula. You have to flip these two. Yeah, it's not 5 over 12. That's 0.417. So yeah, you could say, oh yeah, the resistance in parallel is this, but it's not. You have to flip it to get the correct resistance in parallel. Otherwise, when you try to submit it on your homework, on your test, you're going to find out that you're wrong. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you could say that I'm wrong, or you could just believe me, or you can work it out for yourself, which I recommend you do. So here we have the other formula which if you plugged in those values you would get 24 over 10 or 2.4 ohms which is exactly the same thing you get for this formula after you do the reciprocal if you don't do the reciprocal you're not going to get this correct so there you go that's exactly why in the previous or in the other video uh, some people were saying that oh I'm getting 0.417 which is wrong it's 2.4 ohms for these two resistors in parallel now, series is pretty simple. All you have to do is add these two, or the resistance in parallel, to this resistor here. And let's see, and the new circuit will look like this. This is a resistance in parallel. This is the one that was the combination of R2 and R3. And you're just going to add R1 and RP together to get the total resistance, which is what I wrote right here. The, resist the total resistance is equal to R1, which is this one, plus RP, which is the resistance in parallel. So you're going to get a total of 8.4 ohms, if you do it correctly. So hopefully that cleared it up. Uh, if not, I mean, you can rewatch it again. But I mean, you just have to remember that the formula, it's just the way it is. It's, that's how it is. It's, it's a reciprocal formula for resistances in parallel. And the reason, well, you know, one of the reasons for that is because when you add two resistors, it reduces the, the total resistance. And it's because you're, you're increasing the pathways that, uh, that the electrons can flow through. Uh, and since they have more places they can flow through, it reduces the resistance. It doesn't increase it. Because if you added these up just normally, like saying, oh, 4 plus 6, well, you'd end up with a much larger resistance. And that, that's not uh, that's not the way it works when they're in parallel. In parallel, since you're increasing the pathways that the electrons can flow through, you're making it easier for them to go um, to go to, well to flow through here, to flow through these two branches. Then that's why it's a reciprocal formula. Or if you prefer this formula, which a lot of people do, I do too sometimes, uh, it makes it so you don't have to deal with the fractions. Well, you still do, but. Uh, uh, I don't know. It all depends on your preferences. So anyhow, I really hope that this cleared up some of the confusion. If not, uh, yeah, you might want to talk to your teacher about it. Anyhow, good luck in your classes, and I, I really hope this cleared things up for you.